this video is a plea that you share it with your local, state, provincial, or federal governments. Now, Ebola is coming. Better be prepared for Ebola. It's on its way. If you look at the geographical distribution of the Ebola virus, it has been exploding in Western Africa. Now, this is a very, very deadly virus, very, very communicable. Up to 90% of the people who contract this disease will die from it, 60 to 90%. And the problem is the World Health Organization and the Center for Disease Control do not have a lid on this. They haven't contained it in Western Africa. The countries that are particularly affected are Sierra Leone, Liberia, Guinea, and Nigeria. Now, part of the problem is that the local population does not understand how the disease is passed from person to person. So you're seeing um, individuals that believe perhaps that it's evil or that they can, uh, evil infecting them or that you can use uh, local medicine men or um, certain practices to relieve yourself of the disease. And this is causing further um, explosion of this disease across Western Africa. What's more, there are companies located within Europe, the United States, Canada, Australia, India, and China that are actively mining these areas. They have mines there. They have diplomats. They have employees that are traveling back and forth through these, uh, to these countries. And we could see it's just one airplane ride away that this disease could make its way to something like mainland China or mainland India. And it would have such a devastating effect on the population. It would spread like wildfire. So we really have to take advantage of this period in time to prevent this disease from growing. The incubation period on the Ebola virus is up to 21 days. So someone can be infected with the Ebola virus. They can pass it on to someone else. And both individuals could not realize that they have the disease. Furthermore, it mimics the flu virus. So an individual may think that they have the flu virus where in fact they have the Ebola virus. It is very deadly. It basically destroys every single organ within your body. So if this were to come to the United States, Canada, or Europe, it would be devastating. Devastating to the point that the Spanish flu was devastating in, the, uh, in 1918. So we really, really, really have to do something here. So what I'm proposing is that anyone who is concerned about the spread of this virus especially with militants in Nigeria. Nigeria is a heavy, heavy oil exporter and you have militants, Boko Haram, that ha may have access to this disease simply by just picking up a dead body. You, you have to be very, very careful. We really have to control this at this point. Lobby or send this video to state or local government and tell them we do not want individuals who have visited Sierra Leone, Liberia, Guinea, or Nigeria in the last 30 days to gain access to our country. So completely block their visas from entering the country. That way we can prevent this disease from spreading. If we don't do something now, we're going to see the Ebola virus sweep across the continent of Africa. And eventually it's going to show up in the United States, China, all over the world. So we have to do something now. This is an extreme, extreme, extreme disease that can have extreme consequences. So do something now. Let's stop this disease from entering our lives and entering uh, the huge, huge, dense population, city populations around.